It's about three years to the next general election. And many are wondering who's going to be the next party in power to rule the nation for the next four years. Now, whilst there are more than two political parties in the nation, it is obvious that only two have been having the race going on for the past over 20 years. Now, these two parties, the NDC and the NPP, are both very keen on winning the next general elections. Currently, the NPP is in power with their head, His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Ikufuado, running the place of office, and his vice, Dr. Baumia, following after. But it's obvious that in the next 2024 elections, Nanado Dankwa might not run again or will not run again because he has finished his race and he will probably hand it over to the next man with the NDC. We are seeing um, some interesting little um, competition going on between its members for those who want to be the next head of the party now this is going to impact the general elections a lot because in ghana the masses have a, a particular interest in who they know and like more than who's actually fit for the job now that's just for some majority now when you look at the four-year term of government elections have had a, a very funny turn bringing the people who we don't expect to be in places and some people who we expect to be in some places are rather removed when you look at even the parliamentary elections and the 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 the, the other um, places of power where others um, become you know members of parliament and all of these heads of districts and the likes you'd see how some there are some strange going on um, lately now every time at election we seem to get some drama at the polling stations we would like the next election to have least or no drama at the polling station when you also look at the constituency parliamentary primaries you see what we mean by this because there are some people who have so much passion for these people even more than the the presidential elections that's the reason why the flag bearership race of parties continues to uh, move on because all these all you know contribute to the general um output that the party would make in these elections now when you look at the two parties it has become obvious that this um, race between them is going to be on for a while unless of course a, a much stronger party pulls in something you know very strategic to to put one of these parties out if not it's going to remain these two for a very long time if you even look at the ndc how they've been on and on till now you notice that it's it's you can't compare other parties to the ndc right now though the ndc are not in power it will be it will be i won't say hard but it will be a little hard for a party to gain that much mass 
but anything is possible in the election so we wouldn't say that as final that's just speculation now these elections become so passionate to some people that people's moods change for a very long time after these elections there are some who even go to the extra extent of placing bets and um, putting things on 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 jeopardy for these elections the elections have become more like a cultural thing in the nation and um we, we want to see from the viewers who they think would be the next party to rule the nation now for the mpp like we said earlier on nanado dankwa his excellency will not be able to run again and it's obvious because he cannot stand after these two terms now whilst it's obvious to many that john mahama will be the head of um, the ndc you know leading them into 2024 if it is then then it's still going to have a little effect on the elections because there's someone who has run the country before and people have experienced a lot about him so people are going to not only vote on um what they like but also what they have seen him do when he was in power because of this whoever is going to be um contesting with him that is whoever is going to be um, the flag bearer of the mpp in 2024 will have to look at these things carefully before knowing the strategies to take that's of course if john mahama remains the one who's heading the ndc now when you look at the npp you'll notice that the front runners are dr balmia and then mr lancher mantin these are the two who would be going head to head for um leading the npp into 2024 though there are others it's obvious that these are the main two so all these coming you know into place makes it very difficult to tell who is going to rule in 2024 who's going to win but then we have to look at the votes also why do people vote there are some people who vote because they look at who is going to do the work that is needed and of course we have the majority who votes because of who they like and who they don't like and that's one problem we have to make sure has to be eradicated in the nation we have to come to a point where we look at how these parties are going to do what they claim to do instead of looking at how much we like them how much we like what they say how much we like their personal you know the whole personal about the person Do we have to shift from that um um you know those you using those um things as preferences to vote now you look at also the way the former president john mahama was almost going to take it in the 2020 election until at the last minute things changed it makes the 2024 election sort of hmm. it's, it's very hard to tell what what do you think is going to go on because when we look at also the the other ways people vote people right now let's let's look at it from this point right now today in this particular year how are people feeling are people feeling like the current um, political party is doing very well the current political party that's ruling is doing very well or are they unhappy about it now if you have been in um social media and in the news and been listening to radio lately you'll notice that especially at this late part of the year there has been some very serious verbal um verbal debates going on here and there this strong force about who's doing what's right and who's not doing what's right continues to surge in the radio waves and all these other uh, media outlets 
So, all of this coming into play, some people have the view that the NPP might continue to rule. But they have also, also believe that the NDC could knock them off depending on who is going to um, head their party. Now, when you look at some of the things that have been in the past when it comes to elections and all these government people running um, the nation, you notice some funny trends that have happened in the past. In the past, most often, the party that wins the parliament is the one that wins the presidential election as well. And then there's also this, for the last like 20 years, there's no party that has won more than, you know, two consecutive terms in office. And even in um, um, the ex-president, John Muhammad's case, he was going to enter a third, but that wasn't his third, that was his second, because the first was actually him being a vice president after the, um, the, the former late president passed away. So, you, you notice this, there are these trends, it's like, these are the things that have been in, in, in place ever since. You get it? And when you look at all these, we wonder what the fate of the 2024 election will be. Like we said earlier, when um, John Mahama was seeking for um, a second term in office, his party was making a bid for a third term in government. Because remember, he was a vice president before he became a president, and his presidency only occurred because of um, the previous happenings. Now, there are also people who are looking at the happiness in the nation. When you take a good look at the general moods of people, some people claim that the majority are not too happy. But this, I don't know whether this is very true. It depends on which part of the country you are in and how things are going on there. Because we listen to some things on the airwaves and we just perceive it to be so for everyone. But it's not always so. In some places where you'll be hearing people complaining, there are other places where people are actually jubilating, celebrating and are having the time of their lives. Well, some people are saying there's no money in the system. Sika nikromo, sika nikrom, that kind of thing. There are others who are saying, oh, we thank God there's, there's money, things are going on well. So, who is saying what's based on what and who is lying and who is telling the truth? I guess this will have to bow to the individual. Not only to those who are saying it, but to those who are experiencing what they are experiencing at a particular time if the early part of the year was good for you you'd be screaming and joy jubilating during that time but when the late part of the year is not too good you'd have different thoughts so the question goes again based on even this happiness who do you think is going to be in power the ndc or the mpp we also have to look at the past. How has people's moods been like ever since the president, His Excellency Nana Dudankwa, came into power? You should remember that some people have given some quite negative press about this um, particular political party. Of course, the minority would have would not have watched them go freely with certain little little errors. But we've witnessed a lot of um, strange things happening. Um, people claiming this and that. People trying to go on demos and all of that, you know. So we look at that too and we wonder who really is going to be in power. As of now, we cannot really tell. But most people have their hands on one party. And from even those we've spoken to, because they have their hands on that party, we are even thinking it's possible that um, that party is actually going to be in power again. Well, 
our views and the people's views may differ from everyone else's views but you can let us know in the comment section below thank you for listening and have a nice day